Cyber file. Welcome back to Let's Play Bloodborne. We are on our way back to the Hunter's Dream. Through uh, cutscenes and dialogue, uh, or at least dialogue cutscenes, I'm going to shut up so that you can hear the characters speak, as you saw at the end of the last episode. It was quiet during Gilbert's dialogue. So, uh, that's what I'll plan to do. That, that way, if you've never experienced Bloodborne, you kind of can alongside of me. Alright, so we've returned to the Hunter's Dream, which is kind of like the hub. Um, here's where we'll teleport to different parts of Yarnum. Um, among other things, we're going to upgrade our weapons here and stuff like that. We can also get our first weapons... Since we're going to use um, a skill and blood tinge build, we're going to pick the weapon that scal scales better with skill. In this case, the threaded cane. So, we'll take that. And then, since we're doing a blood tinge build, we're going to go with the pistol because it does more damage. It doesn't have the spread like the blunderbuss does, but that's okay. We'll be switching out both of these weapons at some point anyway. We do have a planned planned weaponry in mind. And now we've got our notebook so we can leave messages just like uh, everybody else. As a matter of fact, every time I get a new item, I'm going to want to put it on my, my quick items here so we can easily get to them. Uh, I guess we should probably also equip our weapons that we just got. Huh? Alright, so now we've got... There we go. Our threaded cane, which is a cane in one way, and a whip in another. So here we have our weak attack, but when you're in whip form, yeah, very cool. Good for crowd control, too. Let's see what this guy has to say. Aha! You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home, for now. I am... Gehrman, friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good. You know... It's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons. And flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but... You're welcome to use whatever you find. Alright, so we've heard all of German's uh, dialogue for now. So we escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. Alright, so we're given a, a quest, so to speak. Over here are other headstones that we can teleport at, and our very various item shops that we'll be able to access. And this is also where we'll come to level up, eventually. We won't be able to level up until we at least meet our first boss. Or otherwise gain insight. So the first floor sick room will take us back to the hospital, which is where I want to go, because there will be a new character there that we can interact with now, since we've returned to the Hunter's Dream. At least, I'm pretty sure. A lot of these, um loading screens you may notice seem very very short compared to other ones and that's because certain loading screens I'll just cut through for the sake of the video so you don't have to sit through the, the loading screens like I do they can be kind of lengthy sometimes so up here is where we came from which is now closed and there's a character we can talk to are you out on the hunt 
Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yosefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Now, go. And good hunting. Aw, Yosefka's so sweet. Are you... Alrighty, got ourselves an item. But I have nothing more to offer. Please, try to understand my position. I can only pray for a fruitful hunt. A couple things you can do there with Yosefka. Um, she'll give you a blood vial of hers every time you return to a point. Uh, unless you have one already, so you can only carry one at a time, essentially. Um, you can also attack the door, which will frighten her, and then you won't be able to get the blood vials anymore. So... We're gonna have to cut through some of those Yarnamites that we fought before. However... Now... This time, it'll be a little easier. Even though I still got hit by that stupid, uh, torch. It'll be a little bit easier because, um, we have our weapons now, instead of just our hands. Smacking them back and forth. Alrighty, so let's actually get into it now. I'm not gonna return. But, uh, let's see. We got some pebbles. Let's add those to our quick items as well. And those are just pretty much just used as a distraction. You can throw them to get the attention of enemies. Quiet you. Bloodborne is a game about exploration for sure. The more you explore, the cooler stuff you'll find. The more items you can find, the more things you can come across. Okay, so now we have a mob to deal with. It's best to try and take them out one by one, especially early in the game. But we're just gonna let them all go on their way. I'm gonna head back where they came from. We can head off to the left here, and there's like a, a big guy. But there's no reason to. There's nothing over there but despair. So, let's just open that up. As a matter of fact, why don't we warn others that there's nothing good back there? Alright, nothing but grief here. continue on our way. I think a couple of these doors you can actually knock on. Not this one. <laughs> this one up ahead to our left. Oh. This guy's aware of our presence. He's not going to be aware of much. Because he's done so. Yeah, right here. Any any of them with the the red lamp outside, you can talk to. Last you come on. Did I open the door on a night of hunt? Oh, what are you with you now? Last you come on. All right, whatever, dude. Uh oh. I seem to have gotten the mob after me. Use the whip and see if we can thin them down. That worked really well, actually. Uh, the threaded gain is so good. I'm surprised we were able to survive all of those guys. I think we could have got off a visceral attack there, but... Oh well. 
Let's see, I think this is where we came down from, right? Oh no, this is a different spot where you can jump down from. You can jump down from up there. But we went the other way. It's okay then. Still items and some dialogue for us. Are you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Damn, dude. Nobody wants anything to do with us. Well, Gilbert did warn us that Yernamites aren't fond of outsiders, which we are, so. That guy's a dick the first time you play this game. You don't even know that he's there and you just kinda start shooting your back. In fact, as I recall, there's another guy around this corner. You just go, ooh, item, and you go for the item. Nope. That guy wants to give you a bad time. Okay, we got our first bloodstone shard, which we can use to uh, level up our items, or level up our equipment rather, make our uh, our weapons stronger, our armor, or no, just weapons in this one. We can't upgrade armor. Ooh, I was not prepared for that. As you can see in the top left, when I take damage, uh, sometimes a little orange portion comes up. That's showing me um, what, my rally potential. Essentially, when you take damage, you can restore a bit of it, if you're quick about it all, by rallying for it. So, after you get hit, if you retaliate... If you retaliate quickly enough, you can actually get um, some of your health back, as you can see here. A little bit of it, anyway. Some more blood vials. Nothing wrong with that. This guy, you can pro probably get a sneak attack on if you're careful. And I'm very careful. Boom. Get out of here. No problems there. Alright. Alright, so like I was saying before, we had that mob that we kinda had to deal with. Um, this is where it's good to use your pebbles and sort of lure them out one by one. Because fighting them all at once is annoying and sometimes difficult. Ooh, I seem to have gotten the attention of someone on accident. The guy with the gun. I ah, clipped me a little bit there. Right. I think the guy with the gun is the only one who's on to me. I think the rest of the people are not aware. Let's see, I think I can hop down. Yeah, back here. Maybe take out that gun guy. Oh, he kind of forgot about me once I backed up far enough. Well, no problems with that. See you later, fucker. I think I might have just killed him with the charge. There's another gun guy up there on top of that carriage. We don't want to alert him if we can help it. Oh, let's get rid of this dog. Shit. Got the dog. Oh, looks like the guys didn't get close enough to notice us either. They're gonna though. Let's see if we can get just one of their attention for now. All right, good work. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Cyberfile content, and feel free to drop a like or comment. If you like this video, you might also like one of my other videos, like the one in the video inlay. Click it to jump to it. Alternatively, if it's uploaded, you can click on the next episode button in the bottom right to jump to the next episode in this Let's Play series. Cyberfile, offline.